One year ago today, Bethesda initially started teasing what would ultimately become Fallout 76. They posted up this tweet, and then of course we had the full reveal, and then everything else that did happen. But I figured now, one year later, it'd be a great day to actually share with you what will likely be the next Fallout game, even if we can't necessarily play it, or only some of you can. And what that is, is actually a sequel to Fallout Shelter, that being known as Fallout Shelter Online. I'm sure most of you, and even potentially those who avidly follow Bethesda or Fallout News have never heard about this game, or might have heard about it a while ago but kind of forgot. Well in reality, several trailers have recently dropped for this new Fallout Shelter and we did get a confirmed release window. The reason you probably didn't hear about any of this is it's actually a Chinese exclusive, at least for now, but we'll talk more about that in a moment. If you guys aren't familiar with the original Fallout Shelter, it is the most successful Fallout game actually by far. At last year's E3, we did find out that it was downloaded 120 million times, but even further, in essence, what it was was a base building game. You would actually create your fallout shelter, and from there dwellers would come, there'd be some attacks that you would have to fend off, but it was mainly focused around the inside of the shelter. Later updates did bring some more outside of the vault features, but they were always fairly basic. There was the occasional dungeon you could clear through, but it really wasn't the core gameplay, or even for me, the most enjoyable part. Now this new Fallout Shelter Online is actually taking that same formula, but really expanding on it. It still does have the core base building mechanic, where you build up your own vault and actually recruit people in there, try and take care of the dwellers. But in this new game, the exploration plays a much larger role, and now you actually can take a group of dwellers from your vault, kit them out with various armors or weapons, and actually go into other dungeons or other areas. Through this, you can find new resources, actually rank up some of these characters. They now have special skills that you can use, as you can see on screen here. But even outside of that, as the name does suggest, Fallout Shelter Online also has a new PvP mechanic where you could fight other players, or even join guilds of other players. And the world of this one is actually fairly lengthy. There are quests you can complete, and again, you do get a decent amount of customization as far as the individual characters go. It's like taking the Fallout Shelter formula and almost applying some of the actual mechanics from Fallout games or adopting them to that same formula. I don't know about you, but based off what I've seen, it looks awesome. I've been showing you some gameplay from a company that actually got to see this, that being MMO Culture. I will have a link to the full two hours of gameplay, as well as their article on this down below if you want to see more or learn more. But to me, Fallout Shelter was fun, but this sounds particularly awesome. Like one of those mobile games I could see myself dumping a lot of hours into. But then again, we get back to that whole point where it is a China exclusive. There are some rumblings about Fallout Shelter last year, and Pete Hines did officially confirm that it's a China thing, not really meant for the US, but as of late, it seems like they are preparing for a launch of the game in China. All of the footage I've been showing you thus far is actually from closed betas that the game has been having, but in preparation for this launch, we actually got some interesting stuff. Now, full credit for this does go to a Twitter user by the name of Chen Chenier. I'm definitely butchering your name, man, I'm sorry. He actually was following me, he tweeted at me some of this information, and then I dug a bit deeper, and it is pretty cool. In preparation for this launch, Bethesda did create some marketing material that probably looks familiar or might have some people that you know. From what I could tell, this is predominantly being shared on Weibo. This is a widely used Chinese social media platform, which actually is quite evident by the fact that this short little one minute video has over a million views. But either way, looking at the videos themselves, they are pretty interesting. The first one does have several very notable Bethesda community members or people from their marketing team, and in English just basically saying, hey, we're bringing Fallout Shelter to China. We hope you're excited for that. Fallout is a series that's near and dear to our hearts here, and we're thrilled that it has such a devoted and amazing fan base all around the world. Hello, China. Ni hao. Hello, China. We know you love playing Fallout as much as we do. And we're happy to have you join us in the wasteland. And we're happy to have you join us in the wasteland. And we are so happy to have you join us in the wasteland. Although, even outside of that, we do get an official trailer for this game, which also probably will look really familiar. Vault Tech presents Prepare for the Future. Feeling comfortable? You like your peaceful lifestyle? Unfortunately, it won't last forever. In the event of a catastrophe, you won't have this, or this, or this, 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 or even this. But don't worry. 
we bring you the ultimate in safety and comfort. Introducing the Vault of the Future. That naturally is very similar to the trailers we saw for Fallout 76, and actually in pretty much the exact same format with the exact same announcer. So taking that all together, I feel like it actually does lead to something pretty interesting or weird. We already know that Fallout Shelter is the most widely used Fallout game ever. When we see how many of you our games have touched, it's incredibly special. Especially Fallout Shelter, that game has been played by over 120 million people. Incredible. That is more people than every game that we have made combined. And that was before it was even in China, so totally counting out that audience. Now they're building a sequel to this game that has all of the core mechanics from the first one, but also widely expanding the gameplay itself, and in my eyes, just looking awesome. But for the reason that's going to be excluded from the audience that was widely playing the original one, doesn't that all just seem rather odd to you? Even beyond that, with the Fallout Shelter Online trailer, why was this entire trailer created in English if it's meant for a non-English speaking crowd? I guess you could argue that it was just convenient, they're reusing the same voice actor that they've used in the past, but that seems odd to me. And I think taking that all together, it does make me question whether or not we'll actually see some kind of announcement at this year's E3 of a Fallout Shelter Online, and specifically one that is available more internationally. Based on what we see as far as this Chinese version does go, it seems like there's going to be an open beta at some point in June. Although again, every reference has been as it is a China exclusive and not coming anywhere else. But what do you guys think? Do you see the potential for another one of those? Oh yeah, and by the way, you could download this right now. I think that would be a really cool way to conclude their presentation. And I think if they don't bring this worldwide, they're actually leaving a lot of money on the table, which naturally no company really wants to do. But either way, that's a brief look and explanation around the otherwise kind of odd Chinese exclusive Fallout Shelter sequel something that I hopefully will get my hands on at some point. Either way, as always, again, I thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. But with that, I do hope to see you guys all next time. Later.